Now, another big use case for Copilot for Microsoft 365 in Excel is that Copilot is very good at explaining formulas. So I have this Excel file over here where I have invoice date. And for each invoice date, I have the amount. And it looks like the due date is a calculated column, right? So over here, you can see the formula that is listed over here. And honestly, this formula isn't too bad. But imagine if this is much bigger than what you would have to do is sort of break it apart, maybe put it into a notepad, and then, you know, maybe put some indentation to it because there are so many if statements and conditional logic. It just gets very annoying, right? Now, something that you could do is obviously you could just look at the pattern, right? But the pattern is not apparent over here because here, for example, um, the due date is just one month apart, whereas in this case, uh, the due date is around uh, two months apart, right? So basically, uh, that's also not straightforward. So what we can do is we can give this formula to Copilot and let Copilot for Microsoft 365 tell us in very simple words what the formula actually does. So I go over here to my Copilot for Microsoft 365 and write the following prompt where I say that I have an Excel table that has the invoice date in B2 over here and the invoice amount in C2 that is over here. And in E2, there is a following Excel formula and I copied this particular formula over here, which is the invoice due date. Now, could you please explain this formula in simple words? All right, so let's just go ahead and see what Copilot suggests us. All right, there we go. We have our results of, over here. So not only it mentions the, what edate function does, but uh, it is very specific with what the invoice amount and how they affect the invoice due date as well. So for example, it says that if the invoice amount is less than or equal to zero, the invoice due date is left blank. If the invoice amount is less than 100, the invoice date is the same as the invoice uh, date, so on and so forth, right? Which you can see over here in the formula. Well, this is a uh, practically a simple formula, but imagine if it was a huge formula with lots of nested loops, then this kind of explanation would help you a lot. Now, to make it more simpler, we can also say, okay, could you provide this in table of form? Okay, so as you can see, it has further broken down and it is much more clearer of how that formula actually works, right? So you can summarize this. If you Even if you have to explain it to someone, the table of form would be much more better to explain because it's very clear, okay, what happens uh, with the invoice amount and the invoice due date, right? Now, not only that, let's say, for example, my manager asked me to actually make adjustments to this particular formula then in that case also Copilot can help us. So let's just go ahead and write our another prompt and specify, all right, could you adjust the formula so that the invoice amount is between 601, let's say, and 1000, then the due date is two months. And if the invoice amount is greater than 1000, then the due date is three months after the invoice date. Okay, so let's just go ahead and see how this changes. Amazing, so over here, not only it provides me the new adjusted formula, but since it knows that last time I asked the explanation in a table of form, this time it has given me the explanation in the table of form, which is much more easier. And over here you can see it has made the adjustment. So if the invoice amount is between 601 to 1000, then the due date is two months after the invoice date. And if it is greater than 1000, then it's three months after the invoice date. So all I need to do over here is just copy this and use this over here and then drag it down and there you go my changes are done so not only it can explain formulas for you but it can take it and then edit it as well now obviously as i said this was an intermediate type of example but i have seen excel formulas which are very big and have lots of nested if statements and sometimes it's harder to phrase through those particular things, right? So I would highly recommend you just simply copying and pasting them into Copilot for Microsoft 365 and actually asking it for a map of the nested if statements. And it produces a nice visual way, even the tabular form, of seeing exactly what the logic uh, that is embedded beneath the actual Excel formula.
I hope you like this video. Why don't you go ahead and try it for yourself? We'll meet you in our next video. Bye for now.